Welcome back. Um, I stole that from the hockey guy. I'm not going to use that all the time. But we're going to talk about this guy right now. And then we're going to talk about the guy shirt, guy whose shirt I'm wearing. Max Price ready. But, um, yeah, he was traded. I know. We're going to go over that. But uh, I want to talk about Marc-Andre Fleury because there's a bunch of fans of the Golden Knights who are bitching and moaning, whining, bitching, and moaning about, oh, my God, why are you so mad about Marc-Andre Fleury? You should be over it by now. What the hell are you doing? Come on, man. What? What are you doing? And my my purpose of today's video, uh, the first video of the podcast for today, is just to kind of give people a clue, help them out to understand why we're so angry, Right? Here and, and and I'm gonna go over some excuses, some stupid excuses that people have made about. Oh my God, Gab here on All right. So, and I'm gonna I'm gonna debunk them. I'm gonna knock them down. Uh, this is a political podcast, but and YouTube channel, but I'm still gonna do it. So, oh, so um, uh, let, let's just um, let's just do. So, I uh. Mark Andre Fleury is the best player of the night, and Mark, you know, he, you know, there's a reason why he's sitting here in this video, and it is because, you know, as you really can't see him, but it's really because he was the main franchise guy. A lot, what a lot of fans aren't uh, here. Uh, what a lot of fans aren't understanding is Mark Andre Fleury was the guy that people looked to. You know, and, and you could say, hey, that's kind of stupid. You shouldn't really be, um, right, you shouldn't really be only into one guy. But the thing is, is that that's how a lot of fans are in not only hockey, but in sports. In sports. That's what it's like. A lot of people like golf, but they only like golf because of Tiger Woods. And I, I, Tiger Woods is a great player, but I like golf just because I like golf. It's not my favorite sport in the world. It's probably one of the last, but still. A lot of people like the Lakers, but they mainly only liked Kobe Bryant. And they went to see Kobe Bryant. And the difference there was the Lakers did not disrespect Kobe Bryant. Like the, the management here has disrespected Marc-Andre Fleury. So... The fans are drawn to him because he's such a kind, kind-hearted, big-hearted individual. Not only as a player, but he is one of the greatest guys to ever grace our city. And, I mean, he's an amazing man. Kind of like Jerry Tarkanian was, uh, I think that was his name, for UNLV basketball in 1990-1991. And then they got rid of him, and guess what? UNLV sucks ass now. Right? UNLV is our college out here in Las Vegas. So, I realize when I talk up here, it doesn't sound like this. So, I'm just going to keep my head down. I know looking up here is weird. So, you know, Flurry was that guy. Um, he, Everyone kind of were drawn towards him. And you're going to have a lot of fans, as has started, saying, all right, I'm out. Um, and with a lot of moves the Golden Knights are making, which I'm going to go over in the next video, of course they're going to be out. You're getting rid of a lot of great players. Now... Marc Andre Fleury guided the team to the 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 cup the first time around. Um, just trying to fix this. He guided the team to the cup the first time around, and nobody can deny that. Nobody can deny that he got us to the cup, or got the Knights to the cup. That that's just how it's gonna be. And I know people go, oh, it was the players. No, Marc Andre Fleury did it. You can have the best defense. You can have the best offense. But the point is, there are a lot of goals that Marc-Andre Fleury has saved, and we don't know how. I, re I remember going to the Wild game, game one, and he literally spun around. He spun around. I know I spun around in my chair. It wasn't that cool. But he spun around to save that goal. Just boom. That goal was saved. Like, everyone was like, yeah! Right? He does diff he does the poke check. He, you know, he, he, he goes down on the ground, on the, down on the ice, goes to his side, and he dives on the ice. He slides. Glove side, you know, glove side right there. He does all of that. And 
Robin Leonard, if this is his legs, is he has his legs open like this, like he's waiting for sex. And by the time a, 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 a puck is coming towards him like this, he's barely coming and it gets through him like this, and then he closes his legs. How much bull crap is that, right? Two different goalies, two different ways of playing. And the guy, the, the team, the management got rid of the guy who literally guided the team through four years and four years of playoffs and three years of going to the final four or five, whatever, the, the, the uh, semifinals here, okay? What, what an incredible feat. Now, a lot of people said, well, you know, uh, Marc-Andre Fleury just wasn't his best. Wasn't his best. What? 26 10 and 0 is not enough for you? Now that 10 and 0, a lot of those games were playing the Wild who had won and then the Avalanche would beat us or beat the Knights. And it wasn't because of Flurry, it was because his defense wasn't there for him. It wasn't there for him. So his record could have been a tiny bit better, but he had no overtime losses. Leonard had two overtime losses. And I got to give him credit, he had one overtime win. And it, it, it was the shootout win. And I'm proud of him for that. And I said that. He did a great job. And I'll never forget it. But then they say, oh, well, you know, he didn't do great in the, in the, in the cup. In the, 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 the cup semifinals. What, the conference final. What, what, what do you want him to do? Leonard sucks ass. So you need to put him in. And he was in so much that he got tired. By the way. And, and, and by the way, he didn't play games five or six. He wasn't there. Leonard was. So... If we want to blame goalies for how the Knights lost, we can blame Leonard. He's the guy that lost it. Um, now, another excuse is uh, there's so many. I, I get tired of debunking them. Oh, well, you know, they were. Oh, it's my favorite one of all. Oh, well, they had a cap space or they had to move him out for some money, for some heavy money. I'll say this. I said in the first video, well, the second video I did, because the first one I was just cursing, I was angry. and I might take that video down. I might just leave it. Um, he, they could have traded any other guys, anyone else, and kept Flurry. And by the way, they kept Leonard for no reason. All he does is freaking complain, they won't let us outside. That's all he does. But he doesn't work on his craft. Not Robert Kraft. But anyway, um, this whole cap space argument is bull crap because it's bull crap because you could have gotten rid of like I said Petrangelo, Pacioretty, Stone, uh, Smith, Nolsek. Of course they got rid of Nolden. You could have gotten rid of Nick Hague. You could have gotten rid of Nick Raw. You could have gotten rid of uh, um, Carlson although I don't think they should but I, I mean you could have. Pacioretty I think I said because they weren't doing anything. All the forwards were awful in the cup. You could have gotten rid of all of them and had enough money to keep Flurry. Or you could have gotten rid of Leonard. But that tells you something if all the teams were calling about Flurry. Because Flurry's better than Leonard overall. He had bet now he didn't have as good a statistics in the last games they played, but that the uh, last series because that that was just because he was too tired. But I mean Leonard sucks. So they weren't going for him. Those other teams wanted the man, the myth, the legend, the main man, the flower, Mark andre Fleury. So, the, and sorry for the dryer in the background. It's just people are, you know, leaving and they're drying things. But anyway, um, so this whole, oh, they need a cap space. Bull crap. Don't believe it. I don't give a damn. All of you that are saying it are suck, are, 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 uh, C-O-C-K suckers. You're cucks and you're chumps. And you don't understand how hockey works. You really don't understand. That's like if I had an envelope of money and in one envelope I had a check of $10,000 and in the other check I had a check of $20 million. And I said, oh, we, I wish I had the money. Well, duh, you dumbass, you idiot. You have a check of $20 million. Give it. Use that. But instead I use a $10,000. Um, or the 10 million. I don't know what number you want to put, but you know, that's like if you're in a car, you're in a car and the car only fits six people 
or eight, let, let's say eight people, and, and two of the people don't want to go. Uh, you're going on a trip to Disney. Two people don't want to go. I don't know who doesn't want to go to Disney. But, right, but to Disney, but two people don't want to go, but you have one person that wants to go. You're like, oh, I don't know. Uh, it's going to cost too much for the hotel. Okay. That one person, just put that person in. And I could make that those two people don't want to go. It's number seven and eight. Get two more people. Works the same way. Um, so that's another argument. Okay. Now this whole, oh, it's just business. So, so just get over it. Okay. That's how business is. No, business is. N- when the mob ran Vegas, and I'm stealing this from a guy who posted this. When the mob ran Vegas, and I'm not saying we need criminal activity. I'm not endorsing criminal activity. I'm just putting an example. They had loyalty tests. They had customer service. They had loyalty and respect. They ran Vegas. <laughs> they, were, they were bad. They were mean. But they, 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 had, they had respect and loyalty. These guys here, the management has so little class. All Bill Foley wants is for you to sign up for his new entertainment travel thing. Uh, and his food and wine society shit show that it is and crap. And all he wants is money. He doesn't care about winning. Everyone, oh, well, Bill Foley cares about winning. Bill Foley cares about losing. Bill Foley is a piece of trash. Bill Foley is garbage. People like the team. They don't like the management. They would like the management a hell of a lot more if they would have kept Flurry. They would have kept Reeves. They would have, right? Um, and, and so it got rid of Leonard. So it, it all, and, and oh my God, the Leonard, lo- Leonard lovers are going, oh my God, <laughs> shut up. I don't want to hear it. Bite me. His stats were not as good as Flurry in the last series. Yes. And he did great against Canada, but still. So this, this organization is classless. Letting the man find out over Twitter and making that poor excuse. Oh, you know, the trade con, we don't let a player know. Because <laughs> Bull. Bull crap. You couldn't call him and say, hey, Mark, uh, we're sorry. This is what's going to happen. We still have to do the trade call. We're not sure. But in case, we love you. We thank you. Thank you so much. No, they don't do that. And then that picture that Alan Walsh tweeted, the, the his agent, his representative of him with the sword in his back, it's completely right because they kept Leonard instead of him and they traded him. And then they showed him such disrespect. They showed him the door. They didn't let him go the way he's supposed to. And they didn't let him retire as a knight. Now, hopefully he retires and call it a day. We have no idea what he's going to do. Um, and he released a statement and I'm going to post that as the thumbnail. But I mean, how how classless can you be? How low can you be? These man, The executives in the main office, the management are just pieces of scum. They're pieces of... Right? They're just shitty. That's all they are. They're garbage. They're, they're part of why I call them the Vegas Garbage Knights. Get rid of all the management. I guarantee you Fleury would have been treated with better respect. Even Pittsburgh had better respect for this guy. Even Pittsburgh. And 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 Eric Colla knows how disrespectful this team is. They deactivated his key card, security key card, instead of telling them face-to-face. Because they're not men. They're cowards. They're cowards. So, that's why we miss Fleury. And by the way, for those that say, oh my God, it's business, get over it. When when the Golden Knights start losing and the Golden Knights are behind and the Golden Knights are down and don't make it to the playoffs, I'm going to say, it's business. Stop crying. Get over it. It's business. Suck it. So take it. So um, there you go. Uh, it's probably not the last video I'll do on Flurry, but he's still going to stay with me. Flip him. He's going to stay with me. It's my figurine. I'm still going to keep his jersey. And, um... There you go. So, anyway, uh, that is my video about Marc-Andre Fleury. Like, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Leave your comments down below on what you think about Marc-Andre Fleury and what this whole situation. Share this with your friends and family and anyone who is making these poor ass excuses. Share this with them. Let me take care of them. And uh, subscribe. If you never want to miss another hockey video, uh, I'll be creating a sports channel soon. But subscribe for now. And, of course, technology, politics, 
Dodger videos. You don't want to miss anything that's coming. And uh, hit that notification bell as well so that you can be notified when I drop a new video. All right. Thanks.